All right, so let's move on here. All right. So each area contains interactive background objects that can be used for your against your opponent. One bar energy is required for using interactive background objects. So it's basically injustice. Yeah, it's basically what they did with injustice. Boom! Tree trunk right to the face. <laughs> or or square and triangle. You can use as well. All one's an easier button. So interactive background object training complete. So following us performing a special move immediately after blocking attack is known as reversal attack. So oops. There we go. It didn't work. That did though. Performing a special move while rising is after being knocked down will result in a wake up attack. Uh, it gives you the wake up window, okay. What? I did it. Okay. Oh, fucked up. Fucked up. Hmm. This isn't even working, even though I'm doing it like really quickly. There we go. So breakers allow you to interrupt opponent combo attacks and while being hit. Breakers cost two bars of shadow me uh, super shadow meter already. I'm saying shadow meter, super meter, as well as a full bar of energy. Ah, so you need to have the the EX bars and a full bar of energy, huh? That's new. So it makes it a bit harder. Oh fuck. Oh, it's about being here. I'm blocking. There we go. There we go. Combo breaker, motherfucker. Oh, I'm not getting hit again. <laughs> Too busy thinking killer instinct, man. Oh, shit. Again. There we go. So block breakers can allow you to interrupt opponent's uh, combo attacks while blocking. So you can actually now block and use it. Yeah. So you can do combo breakers while blocking now. Just need me to back up and let the stamina gauge recharge. There we go. There we go. So unlike uh, counter combo breakers in Killer Instinct, you can actually uh, use them while guarding. This it's basically a shadow counter. <laughs> See, I told you I was playing too much Killer Instinct, man. <laughs> I wasn't kidding about that. So Jet rolls allow you to put some distance between yourself and your opponent after being knocked down. Or just press the back on the directional pad. <laughs> I don't know why it says the button. Oops. 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 No, I'm just gonna use the back button. This seems to work. Oops. What? Oh my god, really? Now it's not working. Oh my god. Such specific timing, man. I just wanna fight. I don't wanna... None of this advanced stuff I'm never gonna use. There we go. Finally. So delayed wake-ups allow you to... Allow to alter the time it takes to stand up after being knocked down. Use this thing to throw your opponent off guard as they try to attack you during a get-up move. Okay. So hold down. Oh yeah! Watch, watch this. Yeah. There we go. Bench training completed. So one of three variations can be judging when selecting a fighter. Now this I really like. The variations you can pick. You got three different ones. So each variation adds new abilities and attacks to your character. Offer replacing existing ones. That's very cool. I like that. So Scorpion is now in his new Jinsu variation. He has gained the use of his twin blades which increase his effective range when adding special adding new special moves and attacks. Yeah, he's using his sword now. So it's kind of like It's kind of like the different stances you had in the most recent Mortal Kombat games, particularly Deception and Deadly Alliance. 
you had these stances. Now you've actually got to pick one variation before the match starts. So training completed. You're now prepared for the Mortal Kombat. Alright, awesome. So that's how you do it, trophy. So I actually did get the trophy, even though I did skip some of the, uh, some of the stuff. So obviously, fatality practice we don't really need, because there's always a hint in the uh, move list that tells you what distance you need to be at, so there's no real need to do that. Alright, so story mode in part 2 of the playthrough. Let's get right to it. Let's see what we got. Millions of years ago, Shinnok, one of the Elder Gods, turned on his fellow deities and invaded the Earth Realm. Really? Raiden and the Elder Gods stopped Shinnok, locked him up in the Nether Realm. Ah, okay. Well, I didn't actually know that. I don't know very much about Shinnok, because he's Mortal Kombat 4, which I didn't play. Others followed in Shinnok's footsteps, like Outworld's Emperor Shao Kahn, who was obsessed with conquering Earthrealm. Yeah, we know that from Mortal Kombat 9. So Raiden convinced the Elder Gods to enact the Mortal Kombat tournament as a way to even the odds, give Earthrealm a chance. Yeah. For generations, Shao Kahn followed the Elder Gods' rules. The war moved to the arena, where he sent his toughest fighters to challenge Raiden's greatest defenders in Mortal Kombat. Yeah, we know that. Two years ago, we beat him. But Shao Kahn wasn't ready to lose. He violated the rules of Mortal Kombat and invaded Earthrealm. Yeah, exactly like it was uh, in Mortal Kombat 9. Most of Earth's defenders, our friends, were killed. Turned into evil undead warriors. Yeah, I know that. Despite the odds, we stopped Shao Kahn's invasion. So this is a direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 9 then. This is following on from that story. The Elder Gods destroyed him. Yeah. So now we what? thought the long nightmare was over. But it turns out that Shinnok had been manipulating events. Shao Kahn's invasion, his death. All part of Shinnok's plan to escape the Nether Realm and resume his war on the Elder Gods. Yeah, and we actually know that because um, at the end of Mortal Kombat 9, uh, you actually see Quan Chi and Shinnok appear. This is the direct sequel to Mortal Kombat 9, which is pretty cool. It's an awesome gunfight here. Look at these demons. What the hell? Oh! Fucking brutal. Here comes the cavalry. Chapter 1, Johnny Cage. Just like it shows in Injustice. Set her down nice and easy for me. Don't I always? Uh -huh. If I always, you mean not once? <laughs> Major? I love Johnny Cage's voice in this game. I don't know who it is, but I recognize it. Alright, you have the rendezvous coordinates. Far into the forest. From there, we access the portal to Raiden's Sky Temple, where there's an angry former elder god and his devils waiting for us. Huh. Gods, portals, flying demons, blind guys with magic swords. <laughs> the world has changed. For the worse, if we do not expel Shinnok from Raiden's Temple, he means to poison Earthrealm's life force, the Jinsei. And we're not gonna let that happen. Ah, okay. Kenshi and I appreciate the Major allowing us to join you. We're happy to help kick Shinnok's bony ass back to the nether realm. <laughs> I love it. What the hell's going on? Oh, that's Scorpion.
I don't know why, but I get the kind of weird feeling that Kenji's like looks a bit like George Michael for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea why. It just looks weird. Oh shit! Quit time, Ben. <laughs> Whoa! Beat down in the chop. Look at this. Oh shit! Nope. Okay, quick time events. Got it. Come on, Johnny. There we go. Who's that? Is that Sub-Zero? It is. It's the undead Sub-Zero. Look at this. Oh, brutal. Shit. Man, at least quick time events, man. Are we actually gonna fight? Nasty. <laughs> Whoa. Shit, he's got a sword. Ah. Okay. Oh. Whoa. There's a fight going on, and we're actually not doing anything with it. Oh, shit. Here we go again. Can we actually fight, please? At least quick time events, man. Oh god, scorpions in here. Oh. And he's gone. Oh no! I fucked up. Damn it. I completely fucked that up. I don't think it changed much. Did it? I guess we'll find out later on. The end is near. Getting a little ahead of yourself, aren't you? Ah, uh, classic scorpion from MK9. This is exactly what he looked like there. All right, now we're gonna fly. So A list and scorpions and ninjutsu. Okay. Oh shit. Ah. Okay. Ah, yes, got another spear, lay down, oh that's just great, <laughs> I can't do this, there we go, I'm gonna do the fucking slide kick, oh really, come on, fuck it, x-ray move, suck, a dick. He's done. Don't say I never did anything for you. Oh, what? Bitch. Are you kidding me? He just fucking whiffed it with punches. Are you fucking serious? Really? That just fucking hurt. What? Oh my god. Lay the fuck out. <laughs> really? Well, that was a bad move. Oh, come on. So random. I kicked him with the face. <laughs> oh, that was great. Gotta get back to the chopper. Yeah, runs just like Injustice in MK9. That's good to know. Oh. Looks like we forgot about him, Johnny. What did they do? Did they take uh, Zip Zero out of the cyber robot? I guess they did. Could be new or Bihan. That was unpleasantly cold. <laughs> That's so bad, isn't it? Right, another fight. Are you fucking serious? Haha. -ha. Oh. Really? I'll lay the fuck out, dude. 
It's a random. Oh, okay. I didn't know that would like that. Oops. What? Oh my god. I just do extra boom in the face. Say good night. Ah. Oh. Damn up, dude. <laughs> Don't say I never did anything for you. Jesus, fucking instant fight start around two. What the hell?